Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we will see how to resize or set the size of the bitmap image in your Android app code. So, we will be using something called create a scale bitmap in the code. Let's see how we can do it very simply. So, we will create a new project. Click next. You can name this project as bitmap image size and click finish. Wait for my environment to load. It might take a while. Perfect. Once the environment loads up, this kind of uh, screen will come up. First and foremost, what I will do is I will also start my app. Uh, or in fact, I will start an emulator so that emulator loads up in the meantime when we do the development. And in the code, let's first define the permissions required by the user. So there will be only one permission, and that permission will be of course read media images. This is the permission which will be required by the user because we will be accessing the media uh, images files from the download folder to do this activity also in the java code we will have to ensure that we take the permission from the uh, user to grant the access to the media images okay and new string and i can copy paste what I, the respective um, uh, access what we need or enter so that it can import the required static class over here okay and now i'll go and define package there is a permission granted perfect i think i can minimize the below part emulator must be still coming up pixel is starting okay let it start it's going good and I'll also minimize the left hand side. I don't think I need any more files to be accessed. Okay, I think the app is coming up. Very well good. That's fine. Let it come up. Now, what I'll do is I'll move ahead and I'll define first the layout. So, right now in the layout, the default layout, what the Android should have given us is just a text view, which we don't need as of now. So, what we'll need is probably a button, a couple of image view to show. Uh, also, we'll be playing with two images here. So, first button could be uh, okay, first let me use the constraints and this button could be show row image, which is basically without any change, okay, without any uh, modification. And I can put two image view, a couple of image view, probably this can be in the center, no problem. And just notice, I won't be changing the size of the, sorry, I I'm not changing the size of the image view, I'm keeping it the default size, whatever they are giving. And you see how it it will uh, like when we try to show the bitmaps of two different uh, size of images how it will appear in this image view we'll see shortly so let me first finish all these things the housekeeping stuff so you can say yeah and okay i'll put one more button probably in parallel to this and this button name probably okay, i'll give it is um image of okay, show sized image okay uh, i don't have much of a space so i'll just like this but yeah i think there's a difference it will show a low image and it will show a size of modified image i could have put modified but it's fine i will leave this name as it is it doesn't matter much so i'll quickly first define two methods one is the public for both the buttons, uh, one one button one meter for each button. So button low image view perfect. And one more method public white button size image. Probably I wanted to use some better word, but it's fine. I think as long as the Understanding is clear what we are trying to do here it should be fine. Now I'll quickly go back to my layout and associate this but uh, these methods what I just want to define to this but button. So this is for row image, the other method would, would be for size image. Yeah. <clears throat> so whenever these buttons are pressed, those particular methods will be called. And to access these image views from my Java code, I will be using the ID for the first one is image view and the for the second one is it's image view two. So let me quickly define a couple of class variable. No, no, no. Private, not protected. Private. It 
I don't think it needs to be a protected uh, uh, image view. I hardly think uh, we require it, it, it is to be private or public uh, variables uh, based on the requirement. I hardly think we need protected variables in most of the instance, most of the cases. Also, what I'll do is I'll create a couple of bitmaps corresponding to this uh, uh, image views. Okay. Perfect. I think uh, I could have used a spelling bitmap here. Perfect. Okay. Now in the own create method only, what we will do is first we will use the image. We will assign the right widgets to this image view. So r dot id dot image view for the first one, which is the first uh, uh, image view in the layout. And for the second one, it was not image view one. It was image view two over the in the ID, so it doesn't matter. I mean, uh, yeah, these are the local names in the Java class, and in, in these are the names in the uh, layout. Now I will proceed with the bitmaps to be created. But before it, probably quickly read on this code and see how it comes up in the emulator. Okay, so in the meantime, I'll continue here also. Okay, so there's some issue requires an app restart okay it requires an app restart because there is some changes in the uh, manifest file so let's do that so i what i did was i did that append and not a stop and restart so i should have pressed this button which i've done now and it's restarting so it will come in a minute okay it came up click allow right now of course when you press this button nothing will happen because the method has not been implemented so I'll just minimize this and continue on this side. Yeah, so what I was trying to define over here is a storage manager which uses the system service of a storage service, I guess. A storage service, perfect. And I think I forgot to. Yeah, no, this looks good, but I think I may have to typecast it. Yeah, perfect. Now from a storage manager, what I will do is I will extract something called a storage volume, yeah, and a storage volume, a storage manager dot get volume, and I will go for the zero index because that is for the internal storage, internal storage, I can say like this, zero equals to internal storage, perfect, now we have the storage volume which points to the internal storage so what we can do is now we can define our files file of what image and that will be new file and then over here we can use the path the storage volume dot get directory get path but this will point to the directory of the internal storage so we may have to append uh, the download and image dot jpeg. I'll tell you why I'm doing this. Let me quickly go to my emulator and in my files app, let me show you that I have already downloaded a couple of images and kept in my downloads folder. So one of the is images dot jpeg and the other one is images one dot jpeg. Okay, so I think I missed out s here at the end. Yeah, otherwise it would have given some problem in my code and yeah and notice the download is download this s does not comes here uh, okay so similarly i will do it is for the second file which is this images one so i'll create a local variable called file image one place of the path remains same and i'll just change it to image is one not jpg no i think uh, okay i can minimize the emulator now once we have the files, what we can do is we can quickly use our bitmaps what we have created to uh, from this uh, file. So decode file is what we will use and then one by one we can use file image dot get path for the first one. Similarly, control V, control V and for the second one bitmap one ta 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 file image one. Yeah. Okay. So this is fine. Now we can use these bitmaps to be displayed in our image view. 
So we have two buttons. So what we'll do is the first button we is a low image. We won't do any kind of processing on this bitmap. So what we'll do is uh, set image bitmap and we'll show the bitmaps one by one as it is. Control C, Control V, and the second one was for image one bitmap one. Similarly, uh, okay, or in this second method we have to do some kind of resizing, and that's the important part in this particular code. What I wanted to show you. So what we can do it is we can create another local variable called probably bitmap um, not to to plural use bitmap underscore resize because this is we will be resizing it and how we'll resize it is using something called bitmap okay dot create something ah oh, this is the option which I was looking for create a scale bitmap and it takes input as bitmap as the source which is the first input and then height and width and the boolean filter so the source for bitmap resize will be the first bitmap the source and uh, okay so what I can do is, is probably between these two images we can do one of the images as the reference for the size so we use the bitmap one for the reference so bitmap one dot get width so we are resizing it to both the images the basic first image to the width and the height of the second image which is bitmap one dot get height and for boolean i can just simply put false here perfect similarly i don't think i need to do the resizing for the second one because already we are using that size but just for the sake of similarity we will do it like this but it won't impact much uh, it, 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 there won't be any difference uh, over here as such and then what I can use, do is we can use this image view underscore resize underscore resize perfect I think that's it let me rerun the code and see how it comes up okay it came up so first let me when the first method show row images perfect so if you see we have two images one is pretty big in size it goes almost like double the size in the uh, width also and height also and where is the second image is pretty small now let me use the second option which is the second method over here and when I do it is you see both the, of course second image remains as it is the, but the first image gets resized uh, probably contracts uh, to the size of the first one and that's because we are scaling it down over oh, here create a scale bitmap using this option we are scaling it down to the size of this second bitmap using this bitmap one width and height so that's all i wanted to show in this particular video i hope this video is useful to you if you have any questions or suggestions then please put uh, in the comment section below and if you like this video then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye.